Today, uh, Martin Alderati is, talk, is going to be talking about uh, Ninja IDE, which is an IDE speci specifically designed for Python and it's open source. So uh, give a round of applause to Martin. Okay. Hello guys, thank you for coming. I'm Martin, I'm from Argentina. So I'm a Spanish speaker, so probably my English is not really good. I'm sorry. So I'm core developer of Ninja IDE project. It's a, as my title of the talk says, it's a IDE specially designer for Python. Uh, I'm also member of the Argentinian Python community. The name is PyR. We are really active members there, like 300 probably Python developers in Argentina community. And also, I work in a company in Python and Django. So what? So my talk is about Ninja, but what is Ninja? Ninja is an open source project under GPL3 license. So it's an IDE for Python, but also it's made in Python. So that's the main reason that we really love Ninja, because it's made in Python and for Python. And it's full of features and it's really extensible for a Python developer. If it crash or you need to do some change, you just go and play with the source code because it's in Python itself. But probably you are asking why. Because in the Argentina Python community, we got a recurrent question for the beginners, say, hey, I need a tool for coding in Python. Could you recommend something? And it's like, everybody starts saying, you can use this one, that one, but always it's not made in Python. Always it's a general purpose tool with plugins or features that you never use, because probably it's for C or C++. It's a, st it's a static typing language, and Python is not. So a member of the community think about why don't create a tool for Python in Python itself? And we start coding. Uh, Ninja right now got two years. Uh, and it's, it's really stable right now. Uh, the main reason is because it's for fun and it's GPL3 and we, we try to, we try that, that everybody try it and play with the source code. So every project got a beginning, and um, for us, when, when we realized that we need some tool for Python, made in Python, because it's fun, and we are Python developer all day. We are not probably Java developer or C++ developer, so it's awesome. And the project got a community, because I, I really believe that the communities help the project. And I think that Ninja would not be what is, what is today without the support of the community, the Python community. You are the Python community. Um, we tried to create a Ninja community. We got different places that, where you can talk with us, we can send email, you, you got the email list, the web page project, GitHub. Ninja is made in GitHub, so you can fork the project and code. So from Ninja, we really believe in the community. Uh, Ninja grows based on the needs of the community. All the features are planned from the community uh, for the Ninja the team. So it's not just, okay, I want to call the feature A, so okay, go, let's do it, though. Before that, we tried to make a, a discussion about the feature talk, if it's important for Python, because Python is dynamic typing language. It's not easy for the, for check the, the types when you return, uh, when you got function classes, probably you got a, a function that return three different values, and it's not easy to check. So we want to get a tool 
with all the most popular features out there because we know that out there are really good products, but they are not open source. Uh, probably you got the open source version, but you can't play with the source code. And the idea behind Ninja is play with the source code. So the Ninja the team try to research new feature for Python and try to get the best feature from another editor and try to improve it and try to put it on together and try to create a tool just for Python. Probably you are thinking, okay, but well, sometimes I need a tool not just for Python. Okay, the project is for Python. I'm sorry. Okay, so we accept the challenge and we start coding. And we got a lot of features like import from everywhere because probably you are coding, you are at the bottom of your file and you have to use a, a module probably for sending an email. So you can import from the bottom and the import go and put itself at the top of the file. We got finding files, it's kind of grep, grepping files. We got virtualm support because virtualm is awesome for Python. We got the cold navigation. The name is cold locator. We got a, you got with some case strokes, you can activate a special search like Beam. You use case stroke for search all the project. So you, you are in one file, but you still navigate all the project. We got a plugins API, so you can extend Ninja for another language. I do it for Ruby. Uh, I create a plugin for Ruby with another guy from the community and was like 20 lines of Python code for support Ruby, Ruby symbols. So you can check all the classes, all the methods inside. We got the PEP8 validator. So it's awesome. You can check that your code is always under PEP. Everybody knows what is PEP? Okay, we got the PEP validator. So we patch the PEP A validator around in the web. We patch it and put it on Ninja, and it's working really, really good. We got Lint Error Checker. Probably sounds crazy because it's for static type typing languages, but we can do it in Python. It's really hard, but we do it. So OK, I'm going to show you some features. This is Ninja when you open it. This is the project navigator. You got a mini map here. You can hide everything for maximize space. You got the red line. The red line is PEP8 validator 79 charts, right? But you can change it and put it probably in 100 and Ninja patch PEP8 PEP for 100 charts. So if you check here where say file manager, I got a warning. The warning is because my file is not PEP8 checker. So I got errors. You can go here, the error tabs. Do you see it? And then just say, hey, you got errors here. You can check here and, oh, what happened? You got two errors. You can put it on and the tooltip say, you got a backslash, a bag, backslash is not, it's not nil. You can take it off. Another way to check the errors is probably we can put a, a print here with a bar. Uh, appear another icon in the top and say you got a bug. It's not a warning. Your code doesn't work. Why? Because you got an undefined bar called name. And this is the PEP A validator and lint error checker from Ninja. And it's a cool feature. And it's made all in Python. Another good feature is the cold, nav cold navigator. You can put home case strokes. Ninja open the pop up. And you can filter. You can put like add plugin and go to the file. You can say, okay, I want to go to the line 100. Okay, go. I can go to, let me check, I need a, a method 
name something like get active. OK, I get active plugins. OK, go there. Everything is made in Python. This project, the code, com the code navigator, the code locator, fork Ninja, and we create another library called, called Kaizen because some Beam fans took it off and put it in Beam. So Beam got the code locator from Ninja, if you can. We got different filter, like you can filter just in classes, methods. You can combine it, go to a file main, and go to the line 55. OK, it's over there. That's the code locator. Another feature is, of course, the call completion. We can try. <laughs> but let's try with something with like solve dot. OK, that's the call completion in action. You got all the attributes. You can go for the metals. You got everything there. You can type, and it's going to be filtering all your results. Sometimes you see like crap there or garbage, but that is the special, the magical metal from Python or all garbage. But have to be there because if you got a list, you need the slides, you need the contains and all the metal. So that's the call, the call completion. Also, we got symbols. So you can navigate your file. You can go where the definition of the attribute, go to the method, go to the classes itself. And all is made in Python. When you are using the call locator, it communicates in a suit process with the symbols visor. So with this one here. So if you want to extend Ninja for C or C++, you just need the symbols. If you got the symbols, Ninja is able to locate call in all your projects. That is awesome. It's hard. It's under development right now. Sometimes it's weird, but it's working. So from the project, we can't put all the features that every single Python developer needs. So that's where the point when we invite all the community to join the project. Develop Ninja. Ninja is use, uh, created using PyQt from Nokia. You know what it is? So if you know Python and PyQt, it's really easy to play with the source code. You need just a few hours. And you have a console inside Ninja. I want to show the console. The console is, is good because when you, are, when you start Ninja, Ninja put itself in the Python path. So you can interact with the instance of Ninja. Let's, oh, let's check. From Ninja core. Oh, hi, here we go. We got the file manager module in memory. So we can interact with Ninja from the console. We got plugins. Um, plugins are really easy to create. We got an API, really powerful. And you can, you can test your plugins through the console before write the call in a file. That's pretty awesome and pretty easy. So my final words are that we want to hear you guys. We want you. We want to hear what you're thinking about the project, what you expect about the project, what you need in your daily work. Because we are making a hard work. We are making this just for the community. It's open source. It's GPL3. Uh, we're never going to close the source code. We just want to play with Python, and we want to improve old Ninja. In the future of the Ninja, 
we are planning to put the graphical debugger. Um, we, right now, the GitHub branch, the main branch, is not really stable because we are making it compatible with Python 3 and Python 2 in the same branch. But you can get Ninja from Debian, Package, Ubuntu, Arch, Fedora. It's already packed. Uh, you can get it from the source code from the web page. This is really stable. Right now we are in the version 2.1.1. So I invite you to play Ninja. Thank you. Uh, we have about six or seven minutes. Uh, are there any questions? Um, two questions, actually. Yeah. First question is uh, refactoring. Do you have any? Uh, yeah, I didn't hear you mention anything about refactoring or. Yeah, like that. that's a good question. It's about the refactoring. Right in the first version of Ninja, we include a refactoring mo module right. using a, a third party liberty uh, rope, okay. but a rope is broken. So we decide to took it off and try to make our refactor library. So we are working on that. Probably we are trying to make a plugin because we try to make Ninja minimalistic in the core. But it's in the plans. So probably a next release got something like that. Right now we got a special words, a special comment you can put in the source code for say, okay, I don't want the pep validator, I don't want the lean checker, but it's kind of no refactor itself. Okay. Uh, the second question is yep. Django itself. Um, okay. Seeing that you have temp, uh, what's it called, the uh, the templates and uh, so forth, is there? A, yeah. are you, do you guys have anything on that? The project is not working in Django, but an, Argent an Argentinian company yeah. made a plugin for Django. You can download from the web page. Oh, excuse me, I didn't see. It. You can go for the addings here, manage plugins, and Ninja interact with the web page. Because you can put your plugins on the web page. That's the official plugins. Those are the community plugins. And let me check. I got the the installer. I think it's under official. Uh, official yeah. In official, yeah, Django plugin. Yeah, okay. the Django plugin right now works with the template. You can change the context from the user interface. It's, it's right now working with the virtual M and with the template. Okay, because one of the things I I found the most annoying thing is the uh, the what's it called uh, using templates and there's actually no tools to yeah, you know, kind of I know that. that out. Yeah, I work with Django every day. So. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you the web page. This is the web page. I log in right now. If I go to the plugin section, you can see all the plugins, and also you can submit a plugin. And you just to put uh, your zip, and it's going to be available for every py Python use, every single Ninja user in the world. <laughs> so that's easy. So the Ninja got a plugin called Plugin Project that assists you to create a plugin. It's like a template, so you write some code and it packages itself, and you put it on the web page. Another question. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's all the time we have for this presentation, and... <laughs> <laughs>